I always thought uh, making music would be fun and, like, you know, wanted to do it, but I didn't really know how I would get into it. I learned about, like, <clears throat> you can get instruments for, like, your MacBook for your laptop, like, plugins, that kind of thing, and I was, like, thinking that route. <clears throat> and then what happened, what made me want to make music, like, be like, you do this, like, as soon as you can, basically, anyway, and my phone became... <clears throat> the way to do it so I was like fuck um I'm just losing my train of thought a little bit but <clears throat> it made me really want to do it was I uh I meditated meditated when I took acid one time and it was really weird like I meditated for like 10 minutes <clears throat> and then when I got done like like my, when I opened my eyes there was music playing and I could like it was like really bassy and loud and I could control the music in space and then like after I did that for like I don't even know 30 minutes <clears throat> and then when that was done it was like wore away and I didn't really have any effects from that it was like all the power of it went in to me being able to control the music and space in front of me and like lights and colors I could see the music and I could control it and I was like is this what I'm supposed to do <laughs> it was it was really really cool I just looked at my stats, my Snapchat, Snapchat stats. <laughs> they're never, they're never that great for me, but it's okay. It's cool. I get it. I'm used to it. I'm not, I'm not a crowd pleaser. People don't like me very much. It's okay. I'll live with it. 4%, 4% out of 100, 4, are subscribed to my Snapchat thing. 96% of my viewers are not subscribed. Means ninety six percent of people who watch my videos are like, "Fuck this kid! He fucking hate this kid sucks." Well, yeah, I mean, I would hate me too. Like, I get it. I fucking get it. <laughs> pretty cold last night but I got this jacket at uh, Goodwill. I had one like a couple years ago too. It's one of those like uh, water thief. It's thin but it's durable. It's thick. It's got all these pockets everywhere. It's awesome. It fits nice and tight to me so it keeps all the heat in. It's really high quality material. I don't know who got rid of this thing but I think I got it for like between 10 and 15 bucks. Steal. Steal at the thrift shop. Kept me warm. I had uh, one blanket and I had two candles going. Candles are way more efficient use of uh, heating my van than trying to use like a small heater. It just blows through my battery um, with the solar panel. Like if I if I charge my battery pink all battery if I charge my power bank, um, like all day, the, the small heater that I have, I don't even know if the heater part works. It's like a fan heater with like a switch with like a toggle switch. Um, it'll run like a whole day of charging my battery. My power bank will run the heater for like two to three hours. That is it. And it'll drain the whole thing. I've done it before. It sucks. So, uh, $2.00 candle a dollar candle that run that can run for like three nights is way worth the energy uh I, I could sit down and do the calculation for like how much propane canister costs uh get the light the or i don't know there are heaters that are propane based but um I'm trying to think like 
I don't know. I have to find like a comparison for what the value of like the solar energy, like what the cost da dollar amount is in value for the amount of solar energy I get. And then like match that to how much a candle costs and how long that la a candle will last me. A candle literally, if I burn it all night, I could do that for like three nights and that's one to two dollars is the cost. Like you don't even have, to, I don't even have to do the math to know that that's cheaper than what I get out of charging my solar panel for like the whole day. But, you know, what is that? Two to three hours times the night, which, which is times two or three. It would have to, the Peter would have to last. Um, so it would have to last like three, like two to three times what I get out of uh, charging my solar panel all day. So that's one night. And then a candle lasts two to three times that. So it's not even fucking worth it. Also, if like people don't understand like why I'm choosing to do this instead of like working extra and getting an apartment and having like heat and paying for heat. Um, one, I'm showing that like it, it's not necessary necessarily. Two, I'm leveraging all that time and money into my business instead consciously and sacrificing it, which is like just builds my character and should build respect for me. But for some reason, society has like a brain fucking tumor and it doesn't work that way. But I don't know. I'm just doing what I think makes sense. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I take a lot of pride in the path and the route that I've chosen as build as a path to build my businesses. Um, you know, as they come first, this is my office space. Um, funding my office space with the bare minimum. And all of that is just going to benefit me into the future. I'm making that sacrifice now. I've made that sacrifice for the past two years because my life fucking turned to shit because people fucking suck and they're fucking deceitful fucking, you know, pieces of shit and lying fucking bastards. But it is what it is. I turned that situation and worked through it. And, you know, that's why I'm still consciously doing this consciously doing it this way and not getting a job getting an apartment and building my business at a slower pace that would be the ultimatum to what i'm doing now but no i'm gonna you know stick it out put my businesses first i think that that's there's a lot of respect in that and there's a lot of character in that uh i just have common sense i think and just gonna do it that way but the problem is in order for people to like see what's in front of them i have to be successful for some reason in order for people to see what is in front of them what is going on in front of them in my vlog i have to become successful and have wealth and have money for some reason i can't figure it out i'm still trying to figure it out i don't get it somebody explain it to me i missed a little bit it's totally waterproof. Look at that. Look at the beads of the water. You can see them.